Hello everyone, it is Alicia Crock, now your independent consultant for 30 months, and we are back again for another Watch It Wednesday, and it is the last Wednesday in February, so this is the last week we're going to talk about retiring products because the fall catalog ends on February 28th, which means spring starts March 1st, which is Monday! So, we're not talking about spring yet, we're just talking about fall, the end of fall. So, when I went through... What haven't I covered yet? There's not a whole lot of things in the retired list that the entire product is retiring. Most things are a pattern ending. So I had to go through the list and see what other products have I not talked about. And lo and behold, the one I missed is the medium utility tote. So today it is my favorite tote that is retiring and we're going to cover the medium utility tote. Now, Mind you, this pattern is also going away. This is Twinkling Plum. This is my absolute favorite. I actually just opened up a box that has about four pieces in it because I'm working to get all of my pieces before the catalog ends, before this pattern goes away. But we're not talking about Twinkling Plum. We're talking about the Medium Utility Tote. Uh, it is a fan favorite. It is a big 31 fan favorite. It usually shows up every fall. So I, I know this one will be back. You know, it's definitely just hitting the the um the vault <laughs> it always shows up again in fall um but it is leaving us for spring as usual so the medium utility tote has the same great utility tote features we know and love it has these great nylon handles it has the wire around the top and the utility tote lining that's wipeable washable um i've scrubbed mine this one is brand new i just took it out of the pack pitch um, but i have one from 2017 with the other purple pattern that i actually this is probably a bad story. Um, I was shucking corn, like corn on the cob, and I left the, um, whatever the things are that go in the corn. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it. Not cobs, not kernels. I'll think of it or somebody will comment to tell me what it is. But I left them all in this bag and I set the bag to the side and I forgot to go take it into the woods and dump it. So there that stuff sat in this bag. So it actually molded and there was like mold on the inside of my purple bag. And I was bummed because obviously it was my favorite purple bag. But a little scrubbing. I mean, there's some staining, but scrub it came right out. Uh, looks great. Still use it. <laughs> it's actually in my coat closet with um, some, some shoes and jackets in it right now. That's why I don't have it in front of me. But medium utility tote is a nice smaller size. It's great for more of that like everyday style if you carry a bag in a work or your teacher versus like the bigger large utility tote. Um, I also like it as a extra bag for grocery shopping because I never have enough bags. Do you have that problem when you go grocery shopping? You think you brought the bags you need and you always end up needing a little extra because you picked up a few extra things at the store. Um, so I do like to take the, the medium utility tote just for that, just for those couple extras. Or sometimes like if you're bouncing between stores, sometimes I'll take this into like one store and I have to grab a couple of things and save my bigger bags for grocery shopping. Totally done that. Um, I do love the essential storage show for that, but the medium, um, until it went in my closet, would do the same thing. So I have a large utility tote here to show a comparison. Um, it's a little smushed. This is actually the one that I got with my kit. Nope. It is a replacement for the one that I got with my kit in 2017. Somebody bought that off me. So I actually got this one um, either like kind of a fall, winter, 2017, 2018, because somebody grabbed it. So this is a retired pattern, but I want to be able to show the comparison of the large and the medium. So let me kind of throw it in here in the straps. You can see it actually fits inside to get an idea. So it is um, similar in width, just, just a smidge different. Let me get them actually really close here. So just, and this actually might be a little squash. So there's, you know, very, very small difference in width, but definitely a huge difference in length, probably three inches. Um, width is probably close to a half an inch to an inch because I do know that my brown one is a little bent <laughs> because it, it is well used, well loved. Um, and then in terms of the depth of the bag, there is about an inch of a difference. So it is smaller than the large utility tote, um, obviously because it's medium. <laughs> it should be a default to know it is a little bit smaller. Uh, I do also have this um, the small utility tote if anybody's a fan. 
So this is the bag that's actually my business bag. So it's sitting right next to it. You get a, a comparison for the mediums. I think most people are either, either a small fan or a medium fan. You're not usually a fan of both. Um, I like them both though because they each have their purpose. You know, the, the tall is, small is a little taller. Um, it's more of a more of a square. It's not an exact square, but more of a square where the medium is the rectangle following in the, the tradition of the large and deluxe. So it is a great all-around bag. Can't pass it up. Uh, I believe it is 30. Actually, let me double check because it is ending at the end of this month. I know we'll be back, but at the moment it is $32, but there is a pass. You can get a bundle and get two for 52. So let me just, um, oh, my shopping link is it posting. That's okay. I'll put it in the comments because I'm not sure why it's not popping up where it usually is. So this is the medium utility tote. Great, uh, and retiring for the end of the month. Let's see what we got for comments. We got a few comments. Um, oh, hello, hello, hello. Love this pattern. Yeah, if you're a purple fan, I was so excited when fall came out and I saw they were bringing back purple. Um, I'm not surprised that it's going away. Um, this is more of a dark fall color. Um, definitely nothing this color in spring. Spring, The spring catalog is very bright. It like screams <laughs> spring. Um, this And this is not. Black and white thermal cooler that's been through the ringers always looks black and completely covered in my safety <laughs> feature. Yeah, uh, I do have a couple of thermals that I have a tendency to bring with me um, when we do that kind of stuff. Yes, cleans up looking new. I think that's one of the things that's really important to note is folks always ask like how durable, how sturdy are 31 bags. And you know, right here, I, I did just point out this one has been in use since 2017. It does have a tiny little hole in the bottom here. Um, that is because I know that me, as the person who owns the bag at vendor events, I would drag it across the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of like, like, because I would shove it under a table, I drag it to pull it out. Um, I drag things. So I'm sure that hole is because of me dragging it on the ground. I mean, there's only so many things a bag can do against rocks. But I said I, I have had that bag for over three years. And aside from that little hole in the bottom, it is in great, great shape. And yeah, they wash up really easy. Um, with the utility totes with the wire, they don't recommend washing machines. But uh, a scrub brush... I mean, that's how I clean mine. I said it had mold in it, a little staining, but it didn't affect the use of the bag and it's on the inside. So I don't really care. The outside was fine. Deluxe utility. Yeah, I have the deluxe utility tote in this pattern. Also, I said, Michael is to finish up getting everything into a clean plum. Let me see if I can find my list. So I, when I started the catalog, I had this list of everything. Oh, and looks like I didn't check off the things that just came in my order. So I think I'm, I'm still missing a cinch sack and an around the clock thermal and a double duty caddy, I think, or what I, I'm still missing. So that's not bad for getting a whole catalog. Um, not that I need all of those things, but I need all of those things. <laughs> and actually, I'm about to um, go through and um, do another video about the insider exclusive i actually just got it in person i didn't have one before and care since you're on here i have your deluxe utility totes um they're in this box <laughs> so we need, to, we need to work that out garden house did i say something a garden house i'm missing the joke that's okay <laughs> um i don't know that's it any other questions um, this is the medium utility tote, and I'm going to go live again in my, oh, to clean them. That's smart. That's very, very smart. I, I usually am going to scrub brush, but I like the garden hose idea. I'm going to, I'm going to take that. That's an extra genius idea. Um, cause I actually have hot water in my garden hose, so it could be even better. Okay. Well, I am going to jump off here go end the live on the page and I'm going to jump over into my customer group and we're going to talk about one of the insider exclusives that I have. And uh, thanks everyone for joining for another Watch It Wednesday. If you have any ideas on future, con uh, future topics, it says spring starts next week. 
I don't have any spring products to show you. Um, I think I should have catalogs though. Maybe we can look at the catalog. Um, or if you just want to see a different product, something that stayed, something we haven't talked about, go ahead and give me a comment. I said, this is my goal. 2021, we're going to go live every Wednesday. Call it Watch It Wednesday. I'm sure I started, stole somebody else's name. Eh, it is what it is. So everyone have a great night and we will see you again next week.